वेलकम बैक एवरी वन इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सेटअप आर न्यू एंड्रॉयड स्टूडियो प्रोजेक्ट सो ओपन एंड्रॉयड स्टूडियो एंड सेलेक्ट न्यू प्रोजेक्ट नाउ फ्रॉम हेयर वी विल सेलेक्ट दिस टेम्पलेट दैट इज एम टी एक्टिविटी विथ कॉम्पोज एज वी आर गोइंग टू यूज जेट पैक कॉम्पोज फॉर द यू आई डिजाइनिंग नाउ हिट नेक्स्ट पुट योर एप्लीकेशन नेम पैकेज नेम एंड सेलेक्ट द location where you want to store your project now for the build configuration language i am going to use kotlin dsl so make sure you select this option because i am not going to use the old one then hit finish once the project is ready the first thing that we will do is we will create a gradle version catalog file and in this file we will store all the dependencies and plugins that we are going to use in this project now why we need to use gradle version catalogs i hope you already know a little bit about android development so for the dependencies and plugins what we do is we maintain build.gradle files so if you open this file let's say app level build.gradle file then here you can see we have many dependencies for the project and in this project we are going to use multiple modules so right now this is the default app module but we will add multiple modules and for every module we will create this build.gradle.kts file and inside that module we need to define some dependencies like this now here all the dependencies are hard coded strings now what if we are using the same dependency in multiple modules and let's say in future we want to change this version now what we have to do we have to go to each module and update the dependency manually and we don't want to do this hectic task that's why we have a new feature in gradle that is called version catalog so what we do is we create a new file first change this directory view to project from here now if you expand it you will see a gradle folder now inside this folder we have to create a file named libs.versions.tuml right click new and then file and we will name it libs.versions.tuml now inside this file we can define three sections the first section is versions then we have libraries and we have plugins now inside versions you can define versions for the dependencies library and plugin dependencies and inside library you can define all the libraries and inside plugins you can define the plugins that are required for this project now for this file i will define many plugins and dependencies that i am going to use in this project and you can get the source code from the repository just go to tutorial snapshots or you can get this file from the main repository as well just go to gradle folder and copy this file to your project and then sync the project once the sync is done we will go to project level build.gradle file so this is the project level build.gradle file and here i will add some more plugins but this time i will not use hard coded strings but i will refer the plugins from this file that we just created so first i will add some plugins here so i have added many plugins as you can see so we are going to use all these plugins in our project now if you don't know spotless is a code formatter i will show you how to use this thing in coming videos but first let's set up this project level build.gradle file now what i will do is i will create a default config function now why i am creating this function first let's define the function so i am going to define an extension function of the class base extension and i will name it default config now why i am defining this function is we are going to create multiple modules in this project and for every module we have to create build.gradle file and we have a lot of common things in all the build.gradle files so to remove the boilerplate codes in our gradle files i am defining this function and inside this function i will put the common things that are required in all the modules 
the first thing that I need is the compile SDK version. You can change this value as per your requirement, but for this project, the compile SDK version is 34. Then we will open our app level build.gradle file. And from here, we will copy this default config, build types, basically everything we are going to copy from here. Just copy everything, go to your main build.gradle file and here paste everything. Now we don't want the application ID here because in only the application module, we define the application ID. Now the target SDK is going to be 34 only. And for the main SDK, I will make it 30. Now version code and version name is not needed because we define these values only in app module. We need the test instrumentation runner and we need the vector drawables. Now I will delete this build types because it is not required here. I will delete these two blocks as well. For compose options, I'm going to use the version from our Gradle version catalog file. So here I will write libs.versions.kotlincompilerextensionversion.get And instead of this packaging, we need to write packaging option. And it is fine. So we have the function default config ready. Now we need one more function and this is apply default config. And this time we will create an extension function of plugin container. We have plugin container dot apply default config. To this function, we will pass project as a parameter. Inside this function, we will call another function that is when plugin added. And here we will check what is the added plugin type. So when this is an app plugin, what we will do is we will get the app extension and we will apply the default config. And to do this, we can write project.extensions.getByType. And here we will define the type that is app extension. And then we can apply, we can use the apply block and we can call our function default config. The same thing we will do for library plugin. I will copy the same thing and instead of app plugin, I will write library plugin. And instead of app extension, I will write library extension. Now in this project, I am going to create some Java Kotlin modules as well. And for those modules, I will check if it is a Java plugin, then again, I will do the same thing. I will write project.extensions.getByType and here I will get Java plugin extension and again I will call the apply function but this time I will define the Java version and I will not call this default config because this configuration is required only for Android application modules and not Java modules. I will write source compatibility equals to Java version and I'm going to use version 17 here and also target compatibility equals to Java version 17. Just optimize the imports and we are done. We have two functions default config that we are calling inside this apply default config. Now finally we need to call this apply default config. So after this function we will define one more block that is called sub projects. Inside sub projects I will call project.plugins.applyDefaultConfig and I will pass the project and that's it. We have applied the default config for application module and all the other modules that we will create in future in this project. Now we have to do one more thing. In this project, I am going to use Material3 experimental APIs and to disable the compilation error when using experimental APIs, I am going to add a compiler argument. And to do this, I will write these lines here. So here, I am opting in for experimental material 3 API. If you don't add this, whenever you will use any experimental composable function, you have to use this annotation. So instead of adding this annotation to all the composables, I am just opting in for experimental material 3 API usage. Now go to app level build.gradle file. And here again, I am going to change this plugins block. And instead of these hard coded strings, 
I am going to use our Cradle version catalog file and I have added other plugins as well. So the other plugins are health and protobuf because for local storage we are going to use data store in this project and this KAPT for health and this is the health plugin. Rest of the things are ok and here I will change these dependencies with Cradle version catalog file. So here you can see I have replaced the dependencies with Cradle version catalog file. And I have also added some other dependencies that we are going to use in this project. Now after this we will remove few things that are not required here because we already defined those in our default config function. We don't need this compile SDK because we already defined it inside our default config function. We don't need min SDK and target SDK. We don't need these as well. Here inside our application modules default config block, we need only these three values. We need this build types block, but these two blocks compile options and Kotlin options are not required. And we don't need compose options because we already defined it inside our default config and this packaging as well. Now our Android block is very much short and clean. And now let's sync the project. Finally, our project is set up to make sure everything is working fine. Run your application once. And here you can see we are getting an error. So I think we defined multiple versions for our Java version. Let's go to project level build.gradle file. And here, oops, we are using version 1.8 here. And here we are using version 17. This is the problem. What we will do is we will simply change it to version 17. And now sync again and run the project again. So it is working absolutely fine. Right now we have a blank application, but the setup is done. I will see you in the next one where we will start working in our project. I hope you found this video helpful and learned something. If you have any problem or confusion or feedback, just leave it in the comments below. Thanks for watching everyone. This is Bilal Khan now signing off.